What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at Xbox Remote Play here on the Steam Deck. So I'll be streaming my Series X in this video. This is with a fairly new app, XB Play, over on Steam. We're going to take a look at that. This isn't a free way, but I think it's one of the best and easiest ways to do Xbox Remote Play on the Steam Deck. There are free ways out there, but in this video we're going to concentrate on this new app here. So XB Play in Steam is $5.99. And I think as you'll see in this video as we go over the features and how this works, it's really worth the $5 or six or seven bucks depending on your area to grab this up and use it if you're really interested in xbox remote play and it also covers cloud and being an extra controller as well which we'll take a quick look at here so let's get into it a little bit more of course on your xbox you are going to want to make sure that remote play is enabled and that rest mode is enabled not fully shutting down the xbox that way you're able to connect to it without a problem one nice thing is you don't have to be on the same network you're just signing in with your account like you would with any xbox remote play app uh, anywhere else which makes it easy so you could be anywhere and connect as long as you have a decent enough internet connection but you can see here make sure you are enabled on your remote features now as far as on the steam deck itself like i said i have grabbed up this new xb play app which was 599 so we'll go ahead in here and open this up now one thing to note don't force any compatibility layers with this just leave it left alone in properties otherwise you could have issues with launching it and it does come up with a pop-up to let you know that the first time that you launch it but i wanted to mention it here as well and as far as my controller layout for XB Play, I'm just using the official layout for XB Play, which has worked fine for me so far in all the games that I've tested. But of course, there's a ton you can do to modify your controls here. So let's go ahead and get launched in and we'll take a look at the app and how that's working and some of the settings and stuff that you can get into. It's much more robust than just the native app over on the PC or however else you might have done Xbox Remote Play. So you can see here, I do want to mention that if you're on the 90 hertz OLED, cut that down to 60 hertz. That's going to help with uh, skipping frames, losing some frames, and not having as clean of a frame time. So the, they don't like to stream uh, on the 90 hertz as much. So drop that to 60. It'll be a bit smoother. But we have our remote play here. I can connect to my living room Xbox. We have cloud play. So Xbox Cloud Gaming is included inside this app as well. If you want to use that and have some more capabilities there, you could use this as a gamepad only for your Xbox. Or you could build your whole on-screen touch layout. They do have default ones already set up to use that you'll see in the video. But it's pretty neat that you could go in and customize your own layout as well and then use that for remote play so a pretty robust app actually when it comes to it especially for the price i think and you'll see some more settings a little bit later on in the video now as we get connected to my xbox series x here You'll see the touch controls were up until I moved uh, the control around. Also, if I don't touch the screen for 30 seconds, they'll disappear. That's the way I have it set up, but you can change that. And it shows all of your information up there. And I'll leave the Steam Deck stats up. But if we touch the screen and bring up the options, we have a lot more options than we would have with the native app offered by Xbox, which is pretty cool here. So uh, you can see all the different things for enabling the mic and pressing guide and settings and a lot more in here when it comes to being able to adjust your display your actual bitrate, the resolution you're streaming at, a lot of things that we don't have control over otherwise uh, in other apps is all here in XB Play and works really well so that you can fine tune the experience to try to get it to the best you can for your particular network and setup. So I do like having all these options over just the, the workarounds of trying to get the original methods to work and just streaming it straight up where I've actually had a lot more difficulty there. Now, on another device, Clarity Boost might be very useful, although on the Steam Deck for me, I haven't really needed to bother with that. But of course, buying this on Steam, you could use this on some of your other handhelds or PC or anywhere else um, and have more control over your Xbox Remote Play experience. So not just for the Steam Deck, but could be useful for you uh, in other areas as well. So pretty good when it comes to a lot of settings and things you can do to tweak the experience and get this working well, uh, especially when it comes to input latency because you want to get that dialed down the best that you can. All right, so let's get into like some more of the gameplay and stuff here. Now, uh, just like my Chiaki video for PS5, I am on my secondary network over here at my recording spot. So uh, it's not even the best connection. However, Remote Play and Cloud have actually worked really well for me here uh, with this app and being connected to my Xbox. And using Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage here, just as an example, kind of panning around the screen where, of course, you can get some frame loss in streams and it could get a little stuttery. Those are very minimum here. Uh, minimal with this app when you kind of pan around in game worlds and are playing the way I've got it set up so far anyway. 
um, input latency, which we'll take a look at here now, and picture quality is pretty good. And I'm not losing a lot of frames when kind of panning around and having uh, fast motion. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in. We'll just do a firing range real quick so you can see the difference of um, the input latency here. And actually, it's it's quite good. I mean, there is a little bit of noticeable latency There's, that's gonna gonna happen. I could certainly dial things in even more than I have. That's the great thing about having so many settings options. But even just kind of running this almost out of box, I've made a few bit rate adjustments and I'm at 1080p here. Um, it's pretty solid. It's pretty decent for a streaming experience here. Now I didn't even do any slow motion capture this time, but I think just from this video of the firing range, and a little bit of gargoyles remastered here, you can see that the input latency is, is very serviceable here when it comes to the remote play here with the Xbox. It's not going to be perfect, but it works really, really well and better for me with this app than the workarounds trying to get the official app to work. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at cloud play. Now I do prefer the layout of the browser method that I have on here for Xbox cloud gaming. It's just a little bit cleaner. However, everything is here. Recent games you've played, popular games from the popular list, and then all games. It just doesn't have quite the breakdown and nicer UI that you actually get over on official browser support here on the deck, but it is included in the app. And once you're into a game, I do feel like it does a better job. I, I get a fairly clean picture quality and I swear input latency does feel better with XB play than trying to do this natively through the browser. It's not as good as remote play for me, obviously, being on my home network from my console feels better and looks a little bit better. But Xbox Cloud Gaming actually works really well, at least for me so far, through this app, giving me another way to experience Xbox Cloud Gaming other than just using like the Google browser or whatever here on the Steam Deck. So pretty cool that it's got all that built in. I didn't get into the additional gamepad support uh, there, but it does seem to work pretty well. And uh, of course, we've got the ability to customize those touch controls and a ton of settings you can get into to adjust uh, the experience for you for your home network. So all in all, I think this is a great package for the price on Steam to get Xbox Cloud Gaming, but more importantly, a decent, more robust uh, remote play option for your Xbox Series X or S uh, that you might want to stream to your Steam Deck. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.